coercive abortions. Tell me more, David Reardon. This terrible opinion piece was run by The Hill the other day, who are owned by Nexstar Media, who say this about journalistic integrity. They pride themselves on fact-based and unbiased content. This is a dumpster fire, though. This opinion piece is by David Reardon, who owns a PhD in biomedical sciences from a university that was unaccredited and then was sued by the state of Hawaii. And he also is the founder of the Elliott Institute, which his tagline is like, abortion, unsafe, unfair, whatever. The good Mr. Reardon, I'm not going to call him doctor because that's just crazy, um, says that mail order abortion pills are not safe. He also says that mail order abortion is fueling and expanding the epidemic of unwanted abortions. David, these medications are safer than Tylenol. His peer-reviewed research says that almost 70% of women with a history of abortion describe it as coerced. His research has been systematically realized to um, have methodological flaws and is not accepted by anybody as actual research. The Davester also says that abortion contributes to negative psychological effects when we actually know it's the opposite, that people who wanted an abortion and didn't get it actually have worse long-term mental health outcomes. That's real data, but David ain't down with that. He's also citing his own ridiculously terrible research that says that having an abortion increases your risk of premature death or a sixfold increased risk of suicide, and this is false. But this is my favorite part. He's now making it sound like everywhere pregnant people are having their drinks adulterated with misoprostol sprinkled in. He says that there's, you know, that this is actually happening. There's known cases and he links to one. David, I know this is an opinion piece, but this is actually a dumpster fire and the hell should have never ran it. Now, do I blame David for having these opinions? No, he's a, you know, be wee bit of a wackadoodle, clearly anti-abortion, whatever. You can have your opinions all day long. But what you can't do is you can't write about them and then have a media outlet that alleges that it's supposed to be have journalistic integrity publish these even under the disclaimer of this is an opinion piece because that is an irresponsible use of the platform abortions are safe effective and you can still get them through the mail just like david reardon tells us you can in all 50 states um there's ways to do it so maybe the hell could write about that